Hi Virgo, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your love reading for March 2021. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice so you get notified of all future updates. And a warm hello and welcome to my regular subscribers. You guys know the drill. This is a love reading on how you feel about the person on your mind, how the person feels about you, and then the combined energy of you both, all right? It's still a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of people, guys. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit, all right? Don't force anything. If it resonates more on one side, you can flip it, all right? Just don't force it to fit. And although this is March's energy, keep in mind, time is always moving and fluid. So really, these are more timeless than anything. Pay attention more to the storylines of like when actions take place. Um, but I do recommend you watch these and maybe watch them again in March um, to see, you know, if it resonates a little bit more down the road, okay? All right, let's get started. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards here. Here we go, Virgo. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have in love for the sign of Virgo for March 2021. How does Virgo's person feel about them? How does Virgo feel about their person? Pull a couple more before I read. How does Virgo feel about their person? How does Virgo feel, or Virgo's person feel about them? <laughs> Tongue tied here. <laughs> All right. And then what's the combined energy of these two, Spirit? What's the combined energy of these two? that is real is love shift your focus back to love it's it's oh my gosh I kept getting reference right off the bat when I was shuffling these um, on the one side and it was showing me a rose and it was called beauty on your person's side and I kept hearing the story of beauty and the beast so that might resonate for some of you but I feel like we have an unlikely couple here and for some reason and this is a very specific reading but I hear that somebody is almost lovesick. Um, and it almost feels, Virgo, you are. Like, I feel like you're lovesick or you're not thinking that, you're not seeing the beauty of a situation here, okay? Uh, maybe you're lovesick because you're afraid to open your heart. Um, and it's a level of wanting love, but afraid to take the leap for love, okay? But really listen to these words one more time. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. I feel for many of you, you have shifted away from this. Um, your heart is closed. It's almost like I can't have the happy family. I can't see the world in front of me. I can't see happiness. It feels heavy. It feels extremely heavy here. Okay. Now, here's what's interesting. Your side, we have love. I feel for many of you, you've taken, because 10 is completion. So there, there's something, your, your heart's going to be opening up. I do. I feel that in the past, and I'm going to talk about the past a little bit before we even get into tarot cards, because I feel that you have someone in your vicinity who knows you are hurt. I don't know if this person hurt you or if this person is just being able to see, and we'll see what, whose energy we're pulling out or seeing that you've been through hurt, hurt and you are closed off, all right? Look at this. Sudden wealth, hit the jackpot, 777, 11. <laughs> These are very lucky numbers, okay? But this is a stepping stone. And I, I, it's almost like I keep hearing, it's too good to be true. I can't believe in fairy tales anymore. I'll never win the jackpot. Um, I, it's too scary to fall in love again. It's too scary to take the leap, right? Now, here's the thing. On your person side, we have beauty. This is how they see you. They see you as delicate as a rose, but as the song goes, every rose has a thorn. So they know that you have your boundaries up, 
all right? Now also, there is bad health here involved. So to me, that's why I kept saying lovesick. I was getting lovesick out of this. Um, I don't know, I feel like this person has watched you go through some kind of heartbreak or loss, right? Depression, I keep hearing depression here, all right? This person takes care though, this person listens. This person is around your vicinity or they're taking documentation of some sort of what's going on. I'm not saying that they're writing notes about you while they're listening to you, but they're documenting certain things to make sure you are okay. I keep hearing, are they okay? Is my Virgo okay? Is my Virgo okay? This person has a lot of empathy. This person um, will give a lot. Interesting. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the, the tarot cards have to say. What's on Virgo's side? Here we go. Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups reversed, and the Chariot. On your person's side, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles reversed, and the Page of Swords. They are watching you like a hawk. They are watching you. And you're like, that's not possible. Mm, no, they're watching you. Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the World. How you feel? Totally freaking burdened. Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think you don't feel this way about this person. I feel that you're trying to move on from other heartbreak here because we have the Knight of Cups right here, right? Now the Knight of Cups is a loving, sincere individual here, free-spirited. Um, but someone who has a lot of emotions for you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? But it's reversed and it's behind you. So it's kind of like the level of like, I'm not even freaking open to love anymore. I am still trying to move on and to move away from the heartbreak and the shitty ending that I just went out of. Because it feels like, Virgo, you went through something that like, and it happened quickly. This happened quickly here, okay? Like all of a sudden it went from like, cause you notice how there's a, a white horse here. So I feel like you could have been, and I kept seeing, I keep seeing Beauty and the Beast. I feel like you're like, no, I'm not even open to this. We're completely different, okay? I just keep hearing we're completely different. So how you feel about the person, you're not open to anything right now. Cause you're feeling the burden. You're like, I'm trying to move on. Now, for someone in your past, I feel like they are the ones who basically moved on from you, like another party or some, there's something at a level where somebody moved out. Like it feels like they moved out and they moved out quickly and it was like derailed you. Okay. I just keep hearing, like, I just feel you derailed. All right. But there's someone here who's actually genuine, actually loving and caring. Look, I keep seeing like bringing you flowers when you're not feeling well. You know, this is the kind of person that would bring you freaking ice cream after a breakup. This is a friend. This is this is someone who values your friendship or you in person, but you're not open to it right now. You're not. Now, on your person side, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is all about working together. I feel like this person's in the vicinity of like family. They feel like family to you, okay? Now, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is basically stating, because this is all about planting your seeds and watching them grow, right? Watching them tending to the gardens here. You see how he's tending to them. This is reverse. This person, how they feel is that they want to work with you. They want to approach you because this is all about something tangible. Because Virgo, this is your energy. This is about an offer, an opportunity here, okay? But this is like abundance, okay? It's not all about finances. It's just about something tangible to offer, okay? They're definitely keeping an eye on you with a page of swords energy, wanting, trying to find something. They're j it's, I just keep hearing they're trying to find the right time or how you're doing. Some of you might just be in a distance from this individual. Like you don't communicate often, but they're like, let me look them up on social media. Let's see how they're doing. They're waiting for that light bulb moment of you releasing something so that they can kind of swoop in. Okay. Like maybe this is the right time. Okay. But this person definitely wants to have some kind of roots grown with you and tend to it, okay? This person loves to give too. Um, they're sincere. Um, but they are again walking, you see how they're tiptoeing on here? They're, they're slowly getting to the other side. They see you as they're afraid to make a move or to, to 
they just see you as vulnerable right now. Okay, I keep seeing glass. Like they're like, I don't wanna break the glass, you know? I just wanna make sure they're okay. Now the combined energy of you both, which is beautiful, is the Ace of Pentacles. Sometimes we have to have breakups for these opportunities to come in that are what we really do and desire. This is something that is like a really good solid offer. This is something you could grow with. This is something that you have craved. Both of you wanna take the risk with a fool. This is both of your energy with the world. You may be at a distance from this individual here, Virgo, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be a huge distance, but I feel for some of you, it is a pretty big distance. It's like almost like either another state or some of you, it's another country, right? But you, you have a lot of love for this individual, but you're like, it's too good to be true. It's just too good to be true or it's too hard to make a long distance relationship work, I'm hearing, right? Or I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm still getting over stuff. I don't feel like this person actually has approached you. I think that you intuitively known that this person might have had more feelings and you kind of closed it off right away or you might have stated things like, I'll never fall in love again or I'll never be in love again. Like, I'll never try that, right? Um, when the truth of the matter is love is beautiful, love is kind, love is patient, love is, love, this is a really hard one, but a lot of people have a hard time understanding this. Love does not hurt. It doesn't. If you are stating love hurts, what you're really stating is that what hurt was my feelings. What hurt was the expectations that didn't get me, right? What hurt is the actions that somebody did, right? Because it didn't meet your, your expectations. So love didn't do that. Love is beautiful. Love is amazing. And you should never be ashamed for loving someone too much either because if you still love this person who you lost, that doesn't make you a bad person. Like I said, love is a beautiful thing, but it doesn't mean it's good for you if that's not returned. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use the vice versa deck here. I do not do reversals on the vice versa. It's double-sided cards. Let's see, let's validate this Knight of Cups reverse this 10 of Wands and this Chariot energy. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So on the 10 of wands, what do we got? The 10 of wands. <laughs> Still feeling the burden, all right? I don't feel like you feel the burden of this person. I think you feel the burden of falling in love again, okay? It's very important to say. It's like it's too much. You're just trying to get home. I'm here, I'm trying to get home to feel safe, right? Many of you, you're just trying to work and keep your day balanced and like, you know, just trying to go in there, okay? Now, the Two of Pentacles on the Knight of Cups energy, this is that not sure which way to go, not sure which way to go, okay? I feel that how you feel is that people might have publicly have seen you break in some sense or knew that you went through a really bad breakup. And it's like, maybe you stated like, I'll never fall in love, don't fall in love with again, right? I don't think you expected because with sudden wealth, this is all of a sudden having the aha moment of like, I can't believe I hit the jackpot with somebody, but no, 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 I've already put up the fence that I don't fall in love. When really, that this is a divine connection here. I mean, you got the infinity symbol, so this is divine, all right? So you're a little bit worried about what's gonna be judged against you here, but what you're moving towards, look at this. Now this, this empress is a new beginning, a new birth at something, okay? So you're letting go of something to go towards something that um, I just feel like this person is such, like it could be a Taurus or Libra you're dealing with, but Virgo, this feels like somebody who just knows their worth but is willing to give to you. Like it's just a very beautiful energy. Now everyone has feminine and masculine energy, but this person loves to like, even though the, the Empress is all about receiving, right? It's a new birth. This is a new beginning. Um, what you might even be going into is knowing what you deserve and are going through your self-worth. So you could be pulling in the feminine energy too of like, listen, until I move on and really know my worth and what I'm supposed to receive, I'm just not ready yet, okay? Let's see what's on your person's side. On the three of pentacles, the seven of pentacles reverse and the page of swords. Here we go. of pentacles we have so listen they know they 
you're really hoping with the eight of cups it's about um walking away but like it's not this walking away right how they see you is that you are still focused on being left out right they know that this person knows what your wishes and desires are what kind of person you want in a, in a relationship and everything they're willing to show you that um, but they know that you're still focused on the loss. They know you're still focused on somebody leaving you. And it does feel like Virgo, you, someone left you. You didn't leave them. Someone left you. Okay. Um, but they're, they're hoping that, that you will be able to walk away from that. Um, so that you can see, you know, a little bit more of that. This person is not giving up on you with the four of pentacles. This is holding on. Okay. Holding, they're trying to be optimistic and practical at the same time. Okay, they also know that you because this is how they feel that you is that you're still holding on things that no longer serve you. All right. That's why this hasn't grown yet. It's just like the stages of this person. This person is very patient with you. They are. Now, I'm not going to say they're going to wait forever, but they definitely value you and they definitely love you. And they definitely want to come in here with some kind of communication here with the Ace of Swords um, about the truth, about how they feel. Right. But with the eagle energy here, it's kind of like this peace offering, what I'm hearing. This peace offering is not in a level of like, hey, I think this, you know, I feel like this person wants to help. Okay. Like I said, they have that like nurse energy here. I feel like they're waiting or trying to get a new perception here with the eagle energy because the eagle is about freedom is for you to free yourself and have a new perception on love. All right. Like we said in the beginning, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. This person is waiting for you to see a new perception in love. They're keeping a very close eye on you, though. They are. They're keeping a very, very close eye on you. So let's see. Um, let's validate some of the last cards here on the Ace of Pentacles, the Cool, and the World energy here for you, Virgo. Here we go. King energy here with the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, I feel that you, you're, you're back. This King is logical. This King uses his head. This King is strategic, but also you do not approach this King unless you tell the truth. All right. The truth of the matter is right now, you're still going through your tower moments. You're still being defensive. Um, they, they are afraid to approach you. Okay. They really are like, because they see, they see from a distance what you've been through. They saw, they literally saw the tower, but the truth of the matter is they saw the tower and they were probably like, thank God they're out of that relationship because they deserve so much better than that. Okay. Um, eight of swords here again. Wait till you see this. Look at this. There's the eagle coming in. That's what they want to do. They want to swoop in. They want to give you a new beginning. They want to show you a different perception. Hey, you don't have to be stuck in your head. Hey, you don't have to hate love. Hey, there's love here. I can show you another higher perception of this. This person has a lot of love for you and a lot of faith as well. This person is very spiritual. I just keep hearing spiritual or they have a totem or they love eagle. There's something about eagles that I'm just seeing so many eagles. I, I don't, it's like, I'm almost feeling like shaman or Native American. Like I'm just feeling like somebody who loves the outdoors or something. Everything that comes out of their mouth is spiritual. Like, and they're patient. They're super patient, this person. All right. The world with the four of wands. This is what they want. Union. Coming together. Celebration. They see you as the sun. You see this too. You see this too. But I feel this level of it not there yet. You're still getting over loss. You are absolutely still going, getting over loss. But someone loves you very much. Very much. And I feel like it's this energy. Even though we didn't get a lot of cup energy, it feels like this person is just very giving. Yeah, you're getting over this. Addictions. This addictions is obsession and possession of being blocked or restrained from a last relationship. Um, this is feeling lovesick again. Oh yeah. Lightning just came out, which is your tower moment. Lovesick, lovesick. That's what it is. You're going through heartbreak, right? This was shocking. This was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, but it's actually transforming you for what you do deserve. 
Guys, this person wants commitment. We got <laughs> we got the wedding here and then we have sunglasses. They're watching you for sure, but the commitment is union, soul connection, internal love, everlasting promises. This person feels so strongly about you, but they are not saying anything yet. They're watching. I don't feel like they're gaslighting here, but it says gaslighting perception focusing out. This person knows that you've been gaslit. This person knows that you've been manipulated in the past. They are waiting for you to have a higher perception. They're just watching you. They're watching you, but they know that you're the one. They, I just strongly hear you're the one. You're, you're their person. All right, if this resonated for you, Virgo, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.